Starship is fully prepared and set for its next big milestone. With all final preparations complete, the stage is set for what promises to be an exhilarating event at Starbase this afternoon. Are you ready to witness history in the making? In other news, Blue Origin has announced the crew for its upcoming New Shepard flight. However, the company remains focused exclusively on suborbital missions, continuing to trail behind its competitors and expanding to orbital and beyond. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, China is laying the groundwork for an audacious new space initiative. The country is planning to send a humanoid spacecraft to the moon by 2028, showcasing its growing ambitions in the space race. Stay tuned as we dive into all these stories on today's episode of Great SpaceX. After a shift in the launch date, SpaceX gained valuable time to refine preparations for Starship's highly anticipated Flight 6. Among the final steps was a critical integration test, marking a key milestone in the mission's pre-flight checklist. In the early hours of November 17th, SpaceX conducted another test of its innovative detonation suppression system, following an earlier test on November 15th. The system plays a crucial role in managing and mitigating potential detonation events during ignition, reflecting SpaceX's commitment to safety and reliability. Later that morning, venting at the orbital launch mount and launch tower signaled the start of propellant loading. By 10.40 a.m. CDT, the integration test was officially underway. Frost began to form on the tanks as fueling progressed. Though this was a partial load, it provided critical insights into the system's performance. The Super Heavy Booster's tanks were filled to about a third capacity, while Starship's liquid oxygen and methane tanks reached roughly 50 and 33 percent, respectively. The test concluded successfully, with SpaceX announcing that propellant loading and pre-flight checkouts were complete. Musk added to the excitement, suggesting that Tuesday's flight of Starship looks promising. Flight 6 isn't just another test, it's packed with high-stakes objectives and technological firsts. SpaceX will once again attempt to land the Super Heavy Booster on the chopstick arms, a complex and innovative recovery operation that could revolutionize rocket reusability. Simultaneously, Starship itself will aim for a controlled vertical landing, a critical step in perfecting its ability to support future missions to the Moon and Mars. This mission also includes an in-space engine relight, a capability for long-duration missions to distant destinations. The spacecraft will test a modified heat shield during atmospheric re-entry, pushing the limits of its design and durability. And unlike previous missions, Flight 6 is expected to occur during daylight, providing an exceptional opportunity for real-time observation and analysis. While Starship takes center stage, this week also showcases SpaceX's remarkable operational capacity. In an unprecedented feat, the company has scheduled four launches within a 48-hour window, one Starship flight, and three Falcon 9 missions, launching from facilities in Texas, Florida, and California. This ambitious schedule highlights SpaceX's ability to maintain a rapid pace of operations, leveraging its robust infrastructure and experienced teams. As the launch date approaches, SpaceX continues to refine critical systems. Booster 13 has already had its flight termination system installed, while Starship's system installation remains pending. This may necessitate a brief destacking and restacking operation, a process SpaceX has streamlined for efficiency. Final checks include evaluating the booster's grid fins, essential for guiding its descent, and testing the hot staging mechanisms that allow for more efficient stage separation by igniting Starship's engines before booster shutdown. Engineers are also rigorously inspecting the spacecraft's heat shield to ensure it can withstand the intense heat of re-entry. Extensive measures are being taken to ensure detailed data collection during Flight 6. SpaceX aircraft have begun monitoring the Starbase area, while buoy-laying ships have departed from Western Australia to establish a stable observation network in the Indian Ocean near southern Indonesia. This setup promises clearer and more reliable data than in previous missions, where ocean instability posed challenges. The chosen landing site benefits from local sunrise conditions, offering ideal visibility during Starship's descent and splashdown. This mission also underscores SpaceX's unique approach to innovation. By testing, learning, and iterating rapidly, the company continues to make breakthroughs that once seemed decades away. Whether it's refining hot staging techniques, perfecting reusable booster landings, or advancing heat shield technology, SpaceX is rewriting the rules of spaceflight. 
Looking beyond Flight 6, SpaceX has ambitious plans for 2024, aiming for as many as 25 Starship launches. These missions will focus on mastering in-space refueling, lunar landings, and other capabilities essential for deep space exploration. This rapid development cycle is a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of progress, shortening the timeline for achieving revolutionary advancements in space technology. As the countdown to launch draws closer, excitement builds for what promises to be a landmark moment in aerospace history. Starship is ready, SpaceX is ready, and the future of space exploration is within reach. This mission is more than just another flight test. It's a bold step toward redefining humanity's place in the cosmos. Stay with us on this incredible journey, and let's celebrate together as SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. Now, let's turn our attention to Blue Origin's next suborbital mission. The company recently announced its details of the upcoming New Shepard flight, designated NS-28, on their website. This mission marks the 28th overall flight for New Shepard and its 9th crewed mission to date. Blue Origin also revealed the 6th member crew for this mission, which includes Emily Calandrelli, Sharon Hagel, Mark Hagel, Austin Literal, James or J.D. Russell, and Henry Hank Wolfend. Notably, Sharon and Mark Hagel will be flying on New Shepard for the second time, having previously launched together on NS-20 in March of 2022. Calandrelli, an MIT-educated engineer, science communicator, and author, adds a touch of inspiration to the crew. Literal brings expertise as a risk management professional in the finance industry. Russell is an entrepreneur and founder of InfoHOA, while Wolfend is chairman and CEO of Bayshore Capital in Toronto. The Hagels, a married couple, contribute their unique perspective as returning passengers. Mark serves as president and CEO of the property development company Tricor International, and Sharon is the founder of Space Kids Global, a nonprofit focused on educational outreach. While the crew details have been confirmed, Blue Origin has yet to announce a target date for the launch. As expected, the mission will likely take place at Launch Site 1, the company's dedicated spaceport in West Texas. Regarding the vehicle, NS-28 is expected to utilize the same upgraded booster and capsule introduced during the NS-27 mission on October 23rd. These enhancements, as Blue Origin highlighted, were designed to improve performance, increase reusability, and expand flight capacity to meet rising customer demand. However, the announcement of another suborbital flight underscores an ongoing frustration for many in the aerospace community. Despite years of preparation, Blue Origin has yet to launch its first orbital mission with New Glenn. If the company continues to focus solely on suborbital missions, it risks falling further behind in the space industry. Comparatively, smaller players like Rocket Lab with its reliable electron rocket and the highly anticipated neutron rocket are steadily gaining ground. As Blue Origin moves forward, the question remains, will the company rise to meet the challenges of orbital spaceflight, or will it continue to confine itself to the suborbital market? Only time will tell. Turning our attention from Blue Origin to China, the nation has unveiled an ambitious plan for lunar exploration. China's lunar ambitions are gaining momentum, with the Chang'e 8 mission set for 2028, targeting the moon's south pole, a region rich in water ice and other resources. The mission aims to test advanced resource utilization technologies and support future exploration. At the core of this mission is a humanoid-shaped spacecraft, a cutting-edge design that could revolutionize human human-robot collaboration and reduce astronaut involvement in high-risk tasks. The spacecraft will feature a four-legged lander and a four-wheeled rover with a humanoid upper body. While its exact purpose remains unclear, it reflects China's commitment to robotics and advanced technologies for resource extraction and infrastructure assembly. Chang'e 8 builds on the Chang'e 7 mission in 2026 and supports China's broader goal of establishing an international lunar research station by the 2030s, potentially rivaling NASA's Artemis program. The mission's timeline aligns with NASA and SpaceX's Artemis 4 mission, set for 2028, setting the stage for intense competition in both technological innovation and geopolitical influence. 
As the moon becomes a focal point for resource utilization, China's focus on lunar resources like water ice highlights the strategic importance of sustainable lunar operations. China's humanoid rover highlights its focus on robotics to tackle extraterrestrial challenges, reducing astronaut reliance for high-risk tasks and improving mission efficiency. This shift towards automation aligns with broader industry trends where AI and robotics are reshaping space exploration. SpaceX, known for rapid innovation, may counter by integrating AI-driven solutions into its Starship program, maintaining its competitive edge. The competition between China and SpaceX underscores the merging roles of government and private space efforts. As private companies like SpaceX take a larger role in national space agendas, their advancements become crucial for global competitiveness. Musk's vision of a multi-planetary future faces increasing urgency as China accelerates its lunar ambitions, potentially reshaping global space dynamics. With missions like Chang'e 8 and Artemis 4 ahead, the 2020s promise a transformative decade of lunar exploration. Who will take the next giant leap? Now that's a good question. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.